Hi, it's Miss Mugwort here. I hope you had fun with your wands, but now it's time for our next challenge. We are going to be making potions. So grab a jar or even a cauldron, some water, and we're going to go outside on an adventure to see what you can pop in. I'd like you to experiment with some colours and some scents. I love the smell of pine and herbs from the garden. It's so lovely to smell. Give them a star with your magic wand. Better yet, why don't you get a jar with a lid and you can make a hurricane in a jar. It's really very relaxing to watch. Always making potions inspired by nature, from my homemade elderberry elixir to bramble jam. Ah, nature always gives us gifts. Some like flowery perfumes, but personally, I prefer the perfectly musky aroma of a badger. Ah, a real delight. I also like to dye my wool with nuts, and you can use nettles and brambles and cordial. It's a literal lifesaver. Now it's our turn to give back to nature. And what better way to do this is with some potions. I'm sure you've all thought of helping little bee when it's tired, giving it some sugar water. Well, my moth brew takes things to a whole new level. These long strips are soaked in a lovely licky liquid. You could also make some moth brew to paint in a tree. There may still be a moth or two at this time of year before they settle down for winter. And where you get moss, you even get bats. I have some night scented honeysuckle in the garden too, still blooming just now as well. It's perfect for moss as a wee treat. So to make your moss brew, you need a pan, some cheap red wine, some sugar, about a kilogram of it, and what you're going to do is add a kilogram your red wine and stir it in on your hob. Once it's all dissolved you're going to dip your lovely cloths in. Let's see if we can magic things up a little bit. Abracadee, abracadoo, make me my mothy magic brew. Now we have our lovely sweet moth brew all cooked and look at our nice bits of white have turned all red. So this sweet smelling stuff I'll hang outside and hopefully I'll attract some moths. I'll maybe wait until it's a nice night. Oh no, it's been a bit rainy tonight. There'll be no chance of moths now. I'll need to come back another time. I hope you've had a bit more luck than I have. And remember, if you want to find out more about the activities, you can go into our learning zone on the Scottish Wildlife Trust website. Catch you for the next challenge next time.